Hello everybody, um, my name is Roman, I am a pre-sale engineer at Hyvedion and in this video I will show you how to connect a camera to uh, to the Hyvedion cloud using uh, something called Hyvedion server. So as you can see this is the account we will be connecting to the cloud. This is just a local camera uh, that we have, as you can see it's a normal Hikvision camera, nothing fancy about it, uh, just a normal camera. Uh, and this is the Ivedon server. So uh, this application is what allows us to add that camera to the cloud. Now I've just launched it. As you can see, it has already found um, a couple of cameras and virtual cameras that I have. So first thing we want to do is disable them right away so that we don't stream those to the cloud. But now there are a couple of things we want to do. Uh, before we can actually add this camera. So there is nothing that needs to be done here. Uh, no um, options need to be toggled, no firmware needs to be installed, nothing at all pretty much. What we have to do is, number one, we have to go to settings and link uh, the um, application to the correct account. So right now it's linked to my uh, personal account. Let's change it in. Um, link it to this account at sales at ivdm.com and we will call it uh, just new server let's call it new server and we click link now it tells us that the linking was successful um, so what we want to do now is we want to go to uh, do the add device menu and select add ip camera so uh, now if we wanted to add a DVR, obviously we would click for DVR and we could also search for devices to add them automatically. But uh, for now we'll go through full manual option where we click on add IP camera. And now there are a couple of things we can do, but uh, let's just select the manufacturer. So we have a Hikvision camera, uh, not, not Highwatch, this one, Hikvision. And it's just a 2CD thumbnail camera. Um, so right now we need its um, IP address, so let's just let's just copy that. Um, sorry, not here, uh, and paste that in. So we don't want HTTP; we just want the IP address itself. Uh, we want to type in the username and the password. Okay, and now what we can do. Right away, we can click on this little eye here to take a look if the camera is correct. So yes, we'll allow, uh, we'll allow access for now. Uh, as you can see, the image is the same as here. So we can confirm that the camera is indeed the correct one. So we'll close that for now. Uh, click OK here. Oh, actually, there's one other thing we want to do is we go back to the settings, this is how you bring that menu up, and we want to change its name. So let's go from DS something, we'll go to and name it my Hick Vision Camera. Okay, now there's also other options that we can set up here, such as motion detection, uh, recording schedule, and so on, but we'll just skip those for now. Uh, now the last thing we have to do is we have to start the server. So as you can see we haven't actually done anything in the account and we will not have to pretty much. Um, so right now we'll just restart this page. Now the server should have already been connected to the account as, as you can see indeed it has. Here we have that new server with uh, this MyHitVision camera right here. So right now it's streaming uh, through my laptop, which I'm using to record this video on. Now the last thing we have to do is um, select a pricing plan for this camera. So let's just go for the most expensive one because we can. And that is it. Now the camera has been uh, connected and configured. So we can um, take a look at the camera's uh, live feed uh, going through the cloud. We can add smart analytics, uh, we can add cloud recording, uh, we can add all kinds of things. 
Um, so let me just uh, let me just grab the video feed. Um, as you can see, um, no issues whatsoever. Uh, very quick and easy. Uh, so I hope this video has been helpful, and I will see you next time.